Hello world, we are continuing from last time on What If Deku Was an Old-Timey Villain. Um, well, what if old-timey villain was in My Hero? Either way, we continue as he sort of plops his way out of, uh, of the bag, you know, finding himself on the muck streets of New York. Or, well, now time, like, Japan, basically. In the presence of my hero, a huge villains and heroes clashing in the background. Though everybody seemed unfaced, he was, his hair scraggly and uh, uh, uncouthed. <laughs> he felt very uh, out of his element. He, he scavenged around trying to find, you know, where he had left. The forest where everybody had lived. All of his friends gone, everything around him changed. He was not in his own time anymore. He hadn't talked for a while, so he felt like he had to cut through the silence for himself. Think! Think! Ah, what do you do? What, what always gets you in the spirit? Robbing! That's right, robbing! There must be banks still! As he goes up to one of the banks up in the um, main lobby of the, you know, city. He walks up to the cash register and pulls out his flintlock pistol from back in the day. It was an, you know, antique for him. Uh, something that was not just invented. The flintlock pistol has been around for so long. However, he used one as um, he only needs one shot, after all. At least that's what he said before. Now give me all your money! <laughs> the... The girl from behind the county counter with horns and bl um, blonde hair says, You're kidding me, right? D sir, do you realize that that's a flintlock pistol? We have anti-bullet penetration glass all around us. What? I don't understand. Just put in the money in the bag. Oh, sir, sir. Don't you realize that all of us that are in the, uh, you know, service of this bank are all heroes? We don't just laze around all day. God, what is up with these people? I, 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 uh, uh, as he looks down to his flintlock pistol and back into the bag and start and starts walking out with the bag behind him. He mutters to himself, what is happening? I'm losing what I once had. As he walks out of the, um, the back door, he, you know, um, he starts to hear police roaring in the background. Ah, oh, got to escape from the coppers again. Ah, uh, at least this is the same. As he, um, you know, jumps into the bag, um, hiding into it, he kind of looks in the void. And the blueness and the stars that he had seen inside of the bag. <laughs> there was a subtle sort of remembrance that he had. Such a nice place, such a nice home. Out in the forest, he lived with them. Each of the stars shaped like his friends. He did everything for them. Was he expected to really shoot her? I can't do that. That's I'm a villain. I, I, I tie them to railroads and the people get them off of there. Okay, that's what I do. I don't shoot. I don't... Uh, what? As he starts to hear the police go away. Uh, finally. I can get my head out of this space. As he, he puts his head outside of the bag. Um, you know... He's in the roadway, I mean, not in the roadway, in the walkway from the bank's back door. As then a woman is walking right in front of him and kicks him in the face with her latex, uh, you know, shoes. Uh, well, high heels, basically. As he says, Ow! Watch the stash, lady! Oh, no. As he, you know, like, p takes his hands off his face and realizes that that's the lady that was at the desk before. However, she's carrying... A, ma a massive wad of cash on her on the side of her person now um 
she's kind of rushing out of there and just ignores Deku. I mean, uh, old timey. Old timey's like, hold on. What the? Didn't she say that she was a hero? Oh, this world is so confusing. Maybe she'll be able to answer my questions. As he, you know, he pops himself out of the thing, kind of re-angling his, uh, his mustache a little bit with the two handlebars. Um, he puts the bag to his side and starts chasing after her. He quickly ch um, catches up to her as she says, Oh, it's you. As he's just like, Yes, could you answer my questions, please? You want to learn from me, kid? Uh, I'm not a kid, but uh, no, I actually want to know why a hero, uh, self-proclaimed at least, would do such a thing, or rob that place. <sighs> you poor, poor innocent man. You, you don't understand how this world works, do you? Not at all. <sighs> Let me guess, you went to home. If you were going to steal from that from the bank, maybe I should help you. Help me rob the bank? No, not that. I mean, help us help you. Give you a place to call home. I'm actually going there right now. As she, um, she takes up a little uh, disc thing out of her pocket and puts it into a cassette, cassette tape down to her side. She was listening to music this whole entire time. I forgot to tell this detail to you. Sorry. She was wearing a old like little CD headphones that was plugged into a little thing before. As it starts playing music out of her headphones which sent up a signal and a bicycle, uh, a motorcycle comes around the corner and, uh, and parks right in front of her. She gets on it and says, Hop in the back. I'll show you where your new home is. As he's just like, Uh, yes, ma'am. What is this contraption? As he, you know, like, studies it for a little second and then, like, hops on the back, kind of, like, uh, hunching a little bit, like, holding on to her as tightly as he can. She, she's just like, God damn, this kid. As, he, as she, she revs it up a little bit and then starts running off. They get away from the police easily. Um... And she stops at a little warehouse. Um, he enters with her as he can hear shouting from the outside of it. Hello, my brothers and sisters. We are here under the single goal to steal. <laughs> you know what we're going to steal? The symbol of peace! The whole crowd, you know, jumps in on. As Deku's like... Brothers and sisters, symbol of stealing? <laughs> this sounds like my type of place! Finally! I can get started on my plans! Uh, hold your horses, kid. As she kind of like holds her, her, holds her hand up swiftly in front of her. In front of him. <sighs> We're going to have to do what we want to first. As an initiation. A man stops them, however, before they can enter into the back door. She looks up to um, and meets him in the eyes. It was a man covered in chains with a uh, black face made out of smog. He looks up to Deku. I mean, <laughs> old timey, sorry. <sighs> I'll let you in. As he opens up the little door as they come in. And then they, they, it opens up to like a massive gathering of over 200 villains. Different, you know, murderers, rapers, different, different people from different, you know, villainous backgrounds. All with their coagulating quirks. Oh, towards the rip and tear side. And one in the center on a spire made of shillings and, st and, st you know, metal, basically. He stood up on a pyre as, you know, this sort of arena around him that all of the villains were gathered around, staring up at him like he was God. It was Shigaraki. Tomura Shigaraki. My brothers. Oh, who is this? 
Mount Lady, have you brought back someone, uh... Hmm. New? Yes, I have. I believe he should be... Mm, useful. He has a flintlock pistol, of course. Ah, we'll give him a real one. Ah! <laughs> As all the rest of the villains cackle. One of them... Um, suggest, how about mine? As, you know, this, like, blacksmith kind of guy with uh, steampunk left face um, and some scars around the um, parts that connect back to his original skull. Um, his eye com constantly spazzing as, he's, as he holds up this little, uh, you know, clockwork sort of uh, pistol. It's a little bit hectic. However, it comes in for the right times. As he holds it up to Deku, um, Shigaraki's like, I'll allow it. Sounds crazy enough for a newbie. Ah, anyways. Tonight, we rampage. Tonight, we take down what should be destroyed. The symbol of peace shall be ours by the end. As he's like, hell yeah, stealing, finally. As, you know, <laughs> old timey is just like stroking his mustache so excited. He's like, a new family. I should get around and, you know, introduce myself to people. However, all of them sort of just awkwardly look at him when he says hi. They don't seem to really like him very much. As his, you know, happy demeanor is kind of cut, uh, cut in by the, mo by the most part of the uh, speech that Shigaraki is performing. Enter into the portals, my brothers, and we shall destroy. As he jumps into the portal himself first, and also the you know the portal guy that made the portals, of course, went in too with him. All the rest of the villains slowly entered into the portals. Finally, when it was um. You know, old timey's time. They were sent through a special different portal, as they all had different markings on their shoulders. But old timey didn't have any. He just followed uh, um, some of the other villains that looked like they were going towards a sort of jungle habitat. Um, Mount Lady actually holds herself back as she waves off some of the villains. Um, old timey looks up to her as she says, "Make us proud, boy." As he's just like. Right. He picks up the clockwork pistol and kind of hides it inside of his bag. As he steps through the portal, he comes out into a very, a much more bright, you know, less rustique sort of place. It was the dome, and he was in the middle of a jungle. All the rest of the villains sort of gearing up, laughing to each other, smoking some cigarettes off in the corner. He attempts to make contact with them because he's sort of awkward like that he he introduces himself as if he was an alien um as they all just st stare at him and laugh hysterically at this short attempt to make friends with them they brush him off as um they um one of them says it should be dropping in in about 30 seconds the kid yeah three two get your asses ready one as then <laughs> as this little kid actually falls through the trees hitting each branch and then finally hitting the ground he lands in sort of a superhero way however he hurts his knee quite a, a bit he looks up a uh, fire in his eyes he's like what the fuck was that whoa this this guy's kind of feisty uh, are, are, are we sure that we can take down a guy that has such fiery personality it's just a kid don't worry as he picks up one of his bows from the back from his back taking it out and aiming down his shot he sees uh this fiery haired kid uh, kind of look up pissed as all hell um up at the trees as he blasts his way up um dodging the first arrow as he courses through the trees and sees them um, an, another arrow is fired at Bak at what he, what we know as Bakugo, um, hitting him directly in the left shoulder. Bakugo is hidden straight into the tree, and uh, smashes it right over. The rest of the uh, villains take out some machetes and um, different knives. As 
uh, old timey tries to get ready with his rope. He pulls it out of the thing as they're all like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> and they all start walking over. Um, they go back to the spot where Bakugo had suddenly fell and he wasn't there. Suddenly the, he comes out of the trees as you know, the, the, the bow and arrow guys hit first immediately sending him skyrocketing off um, into the trees to not be seen again. The rest of them are terrified as they look out into the jungle. They were now the prey. He's like, I, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> He's like, calm down, newbie. You're with me. No. Take this. As he hand, um, as he's handed a knife, they, uh, all the time he's just like, I, I don't think I want to stab him. It's for your own safety, not for his. Now. I can, if you listen very closely, you can hear the explosions. As then, <laughs> a fist comes out of nowhere, almost um, bashing straight into the uh, machete guy. However, um, Deku stabs a knife right into the right into the hand of Bakugo. As Bakugo screams out in pain um, and falls down onto the ground, um, he hits his head onto one of the trees and is not is almost knocked out permanently um the hands the hand that bakugo had was stabbed and now unable to make explosions out of it bakugo leaned up against a tree saying you bastards why did you attack us i'll kill you yeah sure kid that's what they all say as the guy with the machete for an arm um lets it unfold from his hand like a like a switchblade now just hold still. As to, as all the time he's like, what? Uh, and he he r wraps the rope around the guy's neck, uh, the machete guy's neck, um, holding him up and and choking him. As the guy's like, what the fuck are you doing, Nobi? As he's like, I'm not gonna hurt some kids for God's sake. He's headbutt by the mach machete guy and then, um. Um, the guy tried to slice at him, however, he cut the rope instead. Um, you know, d d old timey just falls down onto the tree, and machete guy stabs him straight through the chest. Um, old timey looks forward, and he's just like, Damn it, this is what I get for trying to be the good guy. Wow, I feel like shit. <sighs> As, you know, it... Um, curves up back to the machete guy. You bastard. You, I knew you were a double agent since the start. I just wanted to do what was right. Aren't you supposed to be a villain? <laughs> As he spits, uh, um, you know, a water spit onto Deku's, for onto old timey's forehead. As it leaks down onto his, onto his nose and down onto his cheek. It starts to rain inside of the habitat, which was activated by uh, the sudden outburst of stuff. It was part of their um, fire thing. Since Deku um, Bakugo was sent into the forest habitat now, half of it was on fire and was starting to crowd around them now, stopping, the, uh, stopping anybody from leaving the forest now. We're all going to die anyways. Why would you kill the kid? Shut up. You're just another newbie. This kid was our target. And you fucked it up! Now I have to finish it. Um, um, as he holds up the machete and about to slice down onto Bakugo's head, uh, you know, Deku, uh, old, time, old time he reaches into his pocket with some of his last energy and pulls out the, the um, steampunk gun, which seemed to not even have any bullets in it. However, he aims it, tries to aim and tries to like shoot at it, at the guy, but he, it, nothing happens. He hits it three times. <laughs> Finally, it, ex it explodes in his hand. A massive air burst causing a shockwave uh, instantly knocking out the ears of uh you know all timey uh, an air burst knocks the guy straight out of the trees down into the fire 
Now it was just Bakugo and old timey there. <laughs> you know, I'm supposed to be the villain. You're doing a pretty shit job. <coughs> Why the fuck did you stab me in the head? You tried to kill my brother. <laughs> Is he really your brother? No. No, it was just something to get me to go along with their plans. I realize that now. I realize that now. A little late, Shitstain. You really fucked this up, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I always knew. I just wanted to be the good guy for a second. As the fire stokes in slowly, the forest consumes. Thank you so much for watching. This has been part two. I will see you guys in another video. Goodbye.